Hey everybody, this is Dr. Gundry. I want to tell you about the number one worst ingredient that's actually hiding in the food you're eating right now. Don't eat this. Glyphosate. Glyphosate is better known as Roundup. It's the active ingredient in Roundup. Why is glyphosate so bad? Well, sadly, Monsanto patented glyphosate, patented Roundup, as an antibiotic, not as an herbicide. Now think about that. Glyphosate is an antibiotic? It turns out that glyphosate actually attacks a pathway for making energy called the shikimate pathway. Uh, that's a fun word. Try it three times. Shikimate. Plants use shikimate pathway to produce energy and to grow and divide. Animals do not have a shikimate pathway. So it turns out that sounds pretty good. Uh, if gly glyphosate blocks the shikimate pathway, we could use it on plants, but if we ate glyphosate, we'd be fine because we don't have the shikimate pathway. Not so fast. Bacteria, our gut microbiome, use the shikimate pathway to grow and divide. So glyphosate was patented as an antibiotic that would kill bacteria, kill fungi antibiotic. So every time you eat a glyphosate-laden food, and we'll get to that in a second, you're killing your gut microbiome, thanks to Monsanto and Roundup. Number two, we now know that there are increasing studies that glyphosate, even without killing your gut microbiome, causes leaky gut, causes disruption in the barrier of the wall of your gut. Lastly, we now know that glyphosate interrupts the efficiency of adrenal hormones like cortisol, like adrenaline, and thyroid hormones, and actually blocks the effect of these hormones. So this is an all-in-one health destroyer. Now, as you know, glyphosate was originally used in GMO crops, genetically modified organisms so that you could have, for instance, a Roundup-ready soybean, and you could spray these soybeans, and they wouldn't die, but the weeds would die because the Roundup killed the shikimate pathway in these weeds. And this was considered a great boon. Now, no one was worried because the glyphosate didn't affect humans, or so we thought. And so it was approved by the FDA and the federal government as perfectly safe. Subsequently, almost all corn in the United States is genetically modified to withstand Roundup treatments. 95% of all corn is genetically modified. Almost all soybeans are genetically modified. But it doesn't stop there. It turns out big industrial farming requires having these multi-million dollar harvesting machines arrive at a field on a certain day to harvest the corn, harvest the wheat, harvest the soybean, harvest the oats on a particular day. And you can't wait for something as fickle as the weather to end the cycle of these plants, having them die and dry. Having a plant dead and dried makes harvesting incredibly more efficient and hauling these grains much cheaper because water weighs a whole lot. So in the last 10 years, big factory farms use glyphosate Roundup on conventional crops to kill them and desiccate them so they can be harvested on a particular day. So most all commercial agriculture in North America now uses Roundup 
not on GMO crops, yeah, they're still used on that, but on conventional crops to dry them. Now, nobody goes around after they harvest the wheat, the oats, the soybeans, and the corn and washes the Roundup off of them. The vast majority of these foods are fed to our livestock, are fed to cows, pigs, chickens, and that glyphosate goes into their flesh. So when you eat commercial factory farm foods from cows, chickens, pigs, you're actually eating glyphosate because you are what you ate and you are what the thing you're eating ate. Now, not only that, but these now regular wheat, regular oats, regular corn, regular soybeans are now made into the foods we eat. They're in our breads, they're in our crackers, they're in our cereals. Test after test show high levels of glyphosate in all of our breakfast cereals, in all of our breads, our cookies, our crackers, our oatmeal, even multiple organic oat bars have been found to contain glyphosate. But that's not all. Glyphosate is sprayed between rows of vines in our vineyards. And almost all North American wines, which primarily come from California, have glyphosate in the wine. Now that's not true for organic wines and it's not true for biodynamic wines. But even organic foods, we now know that if your field is growing organic vegetables or organic wheat or organic oats, the farmer next door may be spraying his fields with Roundup. And that Roundup drifts and that's why we see that many organic grains are contaminated with glyphosate. We also know that some of the new plant-based meats are contaminated with glyphosate. Last but not least, Roundup is now the world's most popular home, school, institutional weed killer. Golf courses use it. Schoolyards use it. You probably have some in your yard that you spot kill weeds. And if your kids and you play in these yards, play in schoolyards, you're being exposed to glyphosate. Sadly, the International Agency for Research declared glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, a probable human carcinogen. And many of you know there have now been numerous successful suits brought against Monsanto, which is now owned by Bayer Corporation, for causing particularly blood cancers and lymphomas. Now, one food that typically has the highest glyphosate is our grain products particularly our corn, our soybeans, our wheat, and our oats. Now, how do you avoid it? Well, first of all, you do not need Roundup to control weeds. There are multiple other natural options to contain weeds. For instance, vinegar, a vinegar wash sprayed on plants are very effective, a weed deterrent and insecticide. And try your best to buy organic whenever possible. Believe it or not, Walmart is the biggest supplier of organic foods in America, Walmart. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get organic. Moreover, please support your local farmer's market. Get to know your farmers, get to know what they're doing in making their food. Please seek out biodynamic and organic wineries. They're up and coming. Europe is filled with organic and biodynamic wineries, and that's the next step in taking care of your health. So the number one hidden ingredient in almost everything you're eating is glyphosate, form, better known as Roundup. It does not appear on the label, 
because the FDA says it's perfectly safe. Don't believe it for a minute. It's one of your leading health killers that you're eating almost every day. All right, that's it for today. I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you, and look out for a roundup. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast. Make sure to check out the next one here. Iodized salt is the single most important ingredient you can add to your diet to reverse non-Hashimoto's low thyroid.